What's going on everybody, Jay Glees here, and today you're gonna learn how to create a nice eye-popping thumbnail in order to help gain attraction for your videos. Also remember down below in the description is the link to the playlist for all of the tools to help you build your YouTube channel. So sit back, relax, cause it's gonna be a good one. So today we're gonna to learn how to create a thumbnail. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to Google and we're going to type in what we want as far as an image goes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a thumbnail based off of the OBS tutorial. So I wanna make a thumbnail that's going to express that and be eye catching and allow for people to quickly see the video when they go through search and they're gonna be able to click right on it. So we're gonna look up on Google OBS logo transparent. This is going to give us an image of the OBS logo with nothing in the background. It's going to be completely transparent. So that's what we're looking for. Once we type that in, we'll go over to images and you notice we have like a whole bunch of them. And when we click, we know that it's transparent because it has the checkerboard background. So right here we have an OBS symbol that is transparent. So this is the one that we're gonna use. All you have to do is right click. You're going to save the image into a spot that you're going to remember. For me personally, I keep everything in my scraps folder and then I just get rid of them. So right here we have our GIMP program open and GIMP is a free resource for you. You can go to their website, download it for free and you can create images. It's basically a Photoshop clone. I'm gonna teach you how to use it right here in this video, at least how to use it to make very good thumbnails. It's not gonna be an in-depth tutorial, but you're gonna have enough tools to be able to utilize this and make some really good stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go over to File. We're gonna to go to New. We're gonna make it 1280 by 720. That's going to be the standard size. You also wanna click the advanced tab. I go to transparent so I can set the background up to whatever I want. You can always put something over top of a regular background as well, but I just like to go transparent. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our OBS picture. Remember we just saved that. So we're going to open that up and we're just going to drag it into here. All right, if they ask you to convert, just convert it, boom. All right, so we have the OBS symbol. We're going to shrink this, and to shrink it, we just click this icon here, and then we click onto the image. Also, you wanna make sure that the image is uh, chosen over on the right, so these are your different layers. All right, so we're just going to shrink this a little bit. We're gonna make it a little smaller, and then we're gonna hit scale. This icon right here allows you to move this, so I can move this to wherever I want. I'm going to set this in the middle here, and what I'm going to do is put a YouTube logo, a Twitch logo, and then at the bottom, it's going to say Ultimate OBS Tutorial. All right, we also need a background. So I want something that's going to be somewhat dark on the background. Now I'm gonna have everything in the foreground, which is like the OBS symbol, the YouTube stuff, the text at the bottom to kind of pop out at them. So we're gonna look up dark background and see what we can find. All right, this is a background that I've used before and I really like this background. So I'm going to save it and we're just going to again, drag it right in to here. All right, we're also going to shrink this a little bit. So we're gonna shrink this down. Uh, let's go to about here. All right, then we're going to move it right here. Uh, let's go right there. All right, so then we have to take our layers. Now notice it's the top layer over here on the right. We just have to move it down. All right, so now OBS symbol right here is going to be in the forefront or on top of the background. All right, so now we need a Twitch and YouTube logo. I already have looked up Twitch and YouTube transparent, so I can put both of them on here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drop them in just like all of the other ones. And I have them saved in my graphics folder. So if I just go to my edits, 
graphics and then social media. That's where I keep all my social media stuff. Got a random picture of Shinnok and Randall Cunningham in there, but I don't know why. I don't know. So we're going to drag the YouTube logo. I like that one. And then we're going to grab the Twitch icon. Which one do I want? I want the words, I think. I want it to say Twitch. I know I have one. Where's it at? Twitch white. Ah, here it is. You just drag that over. All right, so you notice that it's a little bit big. So we're actually gonna move this over a little bit that way. And then we're going to shrink it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Make sure it's clicked. It is clicked. So it's gonna be Twitch, scale it. Move it down here. So we got Twitch. Then we're gonna move the YouTube logo. That's also big, so we're gonna shrink that as well. And again, we have to make sure that it's clicked over here. We're gonna shrink it up a little bit, scale it. So Twitch, YouTube. Now we also have these guidelines here. Now, depending on your image, you can try to make things a little bit more even. But if you notice, one of the things that kind of screws that up is you can see here, like the U is a lot higher. The space between the bottom of the image is a little bit greater than over here, if you notice the way that it's right up flush to the bottom here. So it's a little bit different. So maybe if I move this up a little bit, I can eyeball it and it'll be pretty good. All right, so I think that looks okay. All right, so at the bottom, it's going to say ultimate and then OBS tutorial. So we're gonna get that done too. So the way we do that, we're going to go with text and that's just the A icon and we just click and type. So we're gonna go ultimate, and then we're gonna highlight this and expand it really large. We're gonna make it white, and we're going to change the font. You can change the font to whatever you would like. Uh, I don't know, what kind of font do I want? Do I want that font? Do I want impact font? I think I want my impact for this. Uh, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna search, we'll find the font. All right, so we found the font, I like this one. And what we're gonna do is, instead of creating a whole new layer for the font, because it's kind of a pain to type it, highlight it, change the color, change the size, change the font. All right, so we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna duplicate the layer over here. So you can see on the bottom, it says to create a duplicate of this layer. So we're just gonna click that. And now that creates another layer on top of it. And we're gonna use this tool again in a little bit. So we're going to bring this down here. Now when you start typing in this new layer, if you type all the way on the left, it just comes out uh, with the basic regular font, the default font. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start typing from inside the first letter. Then we're just gonna delete all that, go back and delete. All right, so boom. There we go. So we have the ultimate OBS tutorial. All right, so that's gonna be our thumbnail. Now what we're also going to do, notice this font, or I should say the text, it looks pretty good um, in this background, but sometimes the backgrounds don't do a great job of allowing the foreground to kind of pop and come out uh, to the user. So what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna duplicate both layers and we're going to take the top layer, make sure we click our text icon, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it, and then we're gonna change it to black. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. All right, and then we're going to take the top layer, the black layer, and put it behind the white layer, just like that. And then we're gonna move, and we're gonna move the top layer slightly up and to the right. All right, so you notice that creates a little bit of a shadow type of effect. All right, so that is the way that we're going to keep it. Now, we can also add a background, or I should say a glow to the text, but we're not gonna add a glow to the text. We're gonna add a glow to the OBS symbol. And the way that we do that, we're gonna go to filters, we're gonna to go to lighting and shadow, and we're gonna to go to drop shadow legacy. I like the legacy version better. So this offset X and Y just changes where the shadow is laid. So if you 
keep it at four and four, it's gonna be slightly to the right, slightly down. All right, the opposites uh, would occur if you went to the negative section. So it would be to the left and up. Uh, we're gonna do zero. So we're gonna keep the shadow at zero. We're gonna change the blur radius. That's how far the blur goes out, how far it reaches. All right, so we're going to change the blur radius and we're going to increase the opacity to 75. Opacity is just how see-through the actual glow will be. So I want it a little bit more solid. All right, a little bit more solid of a color. We're going to change it to a nice bright yellow. So it's gonna have a yellow glow behind it. So the OBS symbol should pop out. We're gonna keep resizing for this, but sometimes I like to click off resizing. It just depends on how close it is to the edge. If you leave it clicked, it'll actually change the size of the total image. So it'll change it from 720, uh, a 720 background to like, I don't know, it'll increase it by a couple pixels in order to expand out. So actually we're just gonna, we're gonna click it off just because it is kind of close here. But if you have something in the middle, all right, you wanna leave it on so you get the full glow effect all the way to the edges, that's fine. But when it's close to the edge like this, I typically turn it off and we're just gonna click okay. All right, so the OBS symbol is now glowing. All right, so you can see that right there. It's glowing in the center. And if you want to ever increase that, all you have to do is duplicate that layer. So notice it gets a nice little glow and then you can right click on the top one and merge it down. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. Now the yellow is kind of bleeding into the word ultimate. So we're gonna move the word ultimate and we're going to move OBS. So we're going to lock these. So they're all locked. So they move now as one. See how they move as one? Cause they're all locked. And you can change the size of things in conjunction with one another if you lock them as well. So if I lock everything and then I go over to here and then I change the size, all of those would change size in the same ratio. All right, but we just moved it down just to get it out of the way of that glow. So now I think it looks good. I think it's done. This is what I'm going to post as the thumbnail for that video, which you guys probably have already watched. And if you haven't, the link's down below. Next, you have to export the file. So we're going to go to File, Export. I'm gonna send it to my desktop. This is where I send all my thumbnails just so they're easy to access. And then once I post the videos, I start deleting them. You can name the file anything you want. The extension is typically going to be .png. It could also be a JPEG if it's too big of a file as a PNG. Sometimes the files are too big. YouTube won't cooperate well with them. There's a certain uh, limit that you can't exceed as far as file size. And PNGs are, they're a little bit more illustrious of a file. The, the picture looks a little bit better than a JPEG or a JPG. So you typically wanna use a PNG, but if the file's too big, you can always use a uh, JPEG. The JPEGs are a little bit less in file size. We're gonna use a PNG. We're also gonna name it something that's going to correlate with the video when people search. So we're just gonna name it OBS Tutorial. And we're going to click Export. Also this right here, I keep it clicked to all export images and you can just change the extension here. But if you want to change the extension, you can you know, click any of these, you know, whatever one that you actually want it to change to. I'm just gonna leave it as so. So we're gonna go export. We're gonna leave it all. Compression level nine is fine. We're gonna export it. All right, we're good to go. Then you just take that thumbnail, upload it to your video, which you'll find when you go to edit it right at the bottom right hand corner, there's a little icon. You just click it, find it, click, the picture, boom, your thumbnail's up there and you're good to go. So if you have any questions about GIMP, how to make thumbnails, anything to do with building a YouTube channel, leave it down in the comment section, any questions, and I'll be happy to address them. Also, don't forget to check out the full entire playlist where you can find a whole bunch of tools in order to help you build your YouTube channel and Twitch stream. So that's it, it's Jay Glee signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when I post new content as well. Oh, I almost forgot to let you guys know that. <laughs> it's Jay Glee signing out. Thanks for checking in and continue to game strong.